Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching and Pro Wrestling Watch YouTube channels. This is the uh, Wrestling Challenge Review Series for the 17th of um, April, 1994, uh, post-WrestleMania 10. Uh, kind of looking for something to do for lots of people, as it, uh, you know, as, as it is kind of starting new, starting fresh. Uh, we go to the continuation, Yokozuna against Jerry Stallings is here. Uh, Yokozuna, of course, not winning the, uh, the championship, uh, or losing the championship at WrestleMania 10, of course, needing to be rehabbed a little bit. By this point, though, after losing the championship, he starts to uh, degrade a little bit, and uh, obviously there are various uh, people that are willing to wave the American flag. Uh, Stallings gets uh, punched, kicked, uh, suplexed, and then the bonsai drop. Super heavy bonsai drop from Yoko. Uh, highlights of uh, Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels uh, from the Heartbreak Hotel on the uh, main program, as it were. Then Doink and Dink show up next. Uh, Doink and Dink are here, and Doink faces Austin Steele. Doink with a couple of really basic uh, uh, moves. Doink, of course, Ray Apollo at this point. Doink hits the, in the Indian Deathlock, um, you know, kind of pulling his man backwards. Uh, also gets a couple of shots. Doink, Dink comes in, hits a splash on him. Uh, Doink eventually hits the whoopee cushion. Lots of comedy in the match. Uh, Dink, of course, is Tiger Jackson. That goes forward there. Suplexes by Doink, and Doink hits the whoopee cushion. We go forward into the nature of um, uh, Adam Bomb is up next. Adam Bomb against Terry Thomas. Terry Thomas uh, gets choked around, uh, gets choked out, and choked around, and ultimately Adam Bomb uh, hits him with a back elbow. Adam Bomb hits him with the power bomb, and off we go. Vignettes for Duke the Dumpster Josie. To basically, Duke the Dumpster Josie says. He is ready to come to the WWF and take out the trash. He gets hired because uh, Vince McMahon believes he can take anyone from anywhere uh, to be the uh, representative of his organization and even the uh, worst of the wrestlers. And then we get Ben Jordan and the 1-2-3 kid. Ben Jordan uh, gets caught with a couple of kicks, uh, spinning martial arts kicks and the like, and ultimately... We get uh, a suplex uh, float over from the one, two, three kid, and a modified moonsault, spin wheel kick, and the kid gets a victory. Uh, IRS promo uh, there, and then uh, Virgil and the and an enhancement talent in a uh, tag team match with the tag team champions. Um, of course, uh, the enhancement talent. Uh, is Tony Connors and um, Virgil kind of going through being an enhancement talent himself. Of course, the, uh, the Quebecers, Jacques and Pierre, uh, pretty aggressive inverted Alabama slam type maneuver by uh, Pierre of the Quebecers. And then we see uh, a decent layout. Then we go to uh, next in series, which is Sparky Plug, a.k.a. Bob Holly against Chris Hamrick. Hamrick. A guy who bumps around quite a bit, quite well, gets a lot of attention. Uh, Holly hooks up the arm bar. Also, good body slams and a top rope splash from Holly, but not before his uh, greatest move for him, which is the uh, to uh, the um, top rope knee drop and, and also a regular drop kick. The Heavenly Bodies out next in the final match of the day. Mike. Uh, Maldaro and Derek Domino. Heavenly Bodies, of course, Jimmy Jingalo, Jimmy Del Rey, and uh, uh, Dr. Tom Pritchard. Lots of punches, kicks, basic maneuvers there. Throws him down, does Dr. Tom Pritchard. Pritchard then manages to go into a hard shot there and manages to uh, get a couple of body slams up and off and ultimately getting them uh, where they need to go. Drop of the knee across the nose. And uh, Dr. Bomb and the Moonsault from Jimmy Del Rey. Heavenly Bodies get a victory and off they go. There, we'll be back with more right after this.